ordinary dreams. Hi, welcome back to our Director's Cuts here at Regal Heights. So we're on uh, trailing part six of Daniel last Sunday, talking about dreams. And here I wanted to give you uh, a little bit of an indication. You know, given that we talked so much about dreams, you might be tempted to think from the teaching that I gave that every dream has a meaning. Well, they don't. Actually, most dreams don't. Dreams, in fact, from God appear to be rare in Scripture, although they should be more common with the, in the New Testament times with the uh, help of the Holy Spirit. And they should be more directional in nature is what we learned as well, too. That there, it's more of like, do this, don't do that, and promptings, whether we're asleep or awake, to move to the left or the right. Not new doctrine. We're not going to get dreams of new doctrine. Uh, we measure everything against Scripture. But really, most part, even the Bible confirms that uh, the average dream is just a dream. It's like what's happening in your waking life is what's kind of happening at night when you're sleeping and you're processing it. In Isaiah chapter 29, it says, hey, if man goes to bed hungry, he's going to dream that he's eating and he's going to wake up and he's not going to be satisfied. And it gives a few other examples of that too, that basically if you're hungry, you're obviously going to dream because you're hungry. You're going to dream that you're eating. So in the same way, that's also a bit of a discerning tool for us that our dreams may not be from God, but they do tell us a little bit about ourselves. If you find that you are angry or you're fighting in a dream, it could be that you have unresolved issues uh, when you're awake. This is kind of the typical of how most psychologists would interpret your dreams, is really kind of a, interpret the emotion you have in the dream. It doesn't necessarily mean it's from God, but it still is revealing. So even though most of your dreams are going to be ordinary, why not get some use out of them? And so if you're scared in a dream, there must be something that's unresolved in your waking life. Nothing mystical about it. It's just very much that your, your guard is down when you're sleeping. And so the emotions that you feel is probably uh, something that you actually do feel, but you're suppressing it while you're awake with your willpower. And in your subconscious state, you cannot do that. So all dreams are useful. Just a lot of ordinary ones are just good from a mental health point of view. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day.